down. <laughs> and prom season is coming, yeah. It's really exciting. I always wanted to wear a really nice dress for prom. Maybe even a dress that I made by myself. When I was younger, going to the fabric store, I was like a kid in the candy shop. But in Canada, we don't really have prom. And then when graduation came, I didn't go. So um, I like to live vicariously through other people's proms, which includes helping my friends find dresses and watching people making their own dresses. Like this. Two months of sewing, maxing out my Visa card, putting the jewels, the Swarovski crystals, a sprained wrist, a sheet glove, doing this to my parents' dining room. Love you, mom and dad. I finished the dress. Ha! Ah, look at that train! How do you do that? What a stunningly beautiful dress. I don't know where you would wear that with a train that big. Like, I feel like for graduation and prom, like, other people be stepping on your train, but like, that is a statement dress. That's like a Met Gala dress. Speaking of the Met Gala, we all know that I am a huge fan of Kim Kardashian's, like, wet Met Gala look. This one was kind of inspired by that in a way. So they're making a gown that looks like it's wet by using like these sequins so that when the light hits it, it has like a sheen to it that regular fabric wouldn't have. Like this is them shining light over it, getting the dress together. Now, when I was younger and I wanted to make my own dress, I thought it was as easy as like cutting the dress shape out and then sewing it together. It's not, there's so many moving parts and pieces. I just like to watch people who are more talented than me. Oh yeah, there it is, there's the finished look. And she is sparkling. She does look kind of wet. She looks wet, but not soaked. Let's make Hermione's Yule Ball gown. Okay, so this is when Hermione from Harry Potter like came down the stairs. The girl's like, she looks beautiful. Like, why wouldn't you want to look like this? It gives me butterflies. <laughs> Hermione is coming through. She looks beautiful. Yeah, she does look beautiful. Turn around, stupid. Yes. What a gorgeous gown. I like how it's like kind of modest, but really cute at the same time. Like she just looks like a little peach in it. When I first saw this, when this movie came out, like Hermione looked so much older to me. And now like, since I'm a lot older watching this back, she like looks so young to me. But what a beautiful dress. Oh, of course she's, she's going with old Victor, huh? Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yeah, oh my goodness, that is exact. I would kill to be able to wear this somewhere. That is absolutely stunning. This is a girl named Crescent Shea and she makes the best dresses. She's got pink fabric everywhere. I don't know how you deal with this much fabric. It's so big, she's assembling it in her backyard in that giant cage that makes it come out so far. Like it just looks so expensive and it fits so well. <gasps> Girl, she even has a matching mask. She is so ready for 2021 and I like how she can like pick that thing up and like get from one place to another without getting so much dirt on it. This is a cottage core dress. This is just the kind of dress that I feel like I would spend all of my money on. She's got the top, it's very fitted. We love a nice low cut. Modesty, nah, not today. You don't need modesty, okay? You can bring the childlike wonder back in with the little daisy print, okay? It's gorgeous. Oh, it is so innocent and darling, but like so cute at the same time. <laughs> this girl's dresses, they just really make me excited. Okay, I don't even know what a frog dress is, but we gotta watch it because of the talent here. Oh, so this is what I like to call a waist killer. I like to always have my waist showing, but she's she's going for cute, I think. Yup. She's going for cute. Little red riding hood. Oh, that's just adorable. Like, I don't, even, I don't even know what to tell you. That's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. What a cute hobby. Excuse me while I get into sewing. For some reason, when I think of a dress, I think of strawberry shortcake. A strawberry dress, a picnic dress. The kind of dress that you wear when somebody asks you on a date, but he's like a really cute guy who dresses well. Like he's gonna wear like a nice little suit and a nice little vest and a little tie. You guys are gonna look like a bunch of idiots out in public. Now, I can already tell I'm really gonna like this because it has a corset top with like a sweetheart top. It's a cut that everybody has. It's so flattering that you kind of have to have it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, but that just, that, that is so flattering. That is so cute. Give it to me. Oh, oh. This is exactly my aesthetic. This reminds me of the time, I think I was like 18, 19, and I went to Betsy Johnson for the first time and I saw a dress that was kind of like this. It had little flowers on it instead of strawberries and I spent way more money than I had because I had this feeling that was like, I, I need, need this, this dress. dress. And I never ended up wearing it at all. It was one of the most colossal wastes of money in my life. And I wish that I kept that dress because like it serves as a reminder to not just get obsessed with things and buy them and like get the gimme gimme. 
gimmies. Like this is something that I would definitely get the gimme gimmies over. And that's what makes fashion exciting, you know? Fashion is a feeling. Fashion makes the rational part of your brain just completely shut down. Baby girl here is making the perfect picnic dress. This really looks like tablecloth fabric. So like that's kind of a fun thing for a picnic. One time I was wearing fabric like this at the mall and like these girls in high school were like, nice, nice tablecloth. <laughs> but they didn't say it to me. They were making fun of me to each other and I could hear it. To this day, I still really like that skirt and I wish that I held on to it. Oh, that's cute. She looks like a little dolly. I would never wear this cut because I like things that are like tighter, but that's real cute on her with that little haircut. Oh, the way it spins. That is, oh, she's so happy in it. That's very charming. Ooh, DIY prom dresses from a bed sheet. Okay, you can tell that this girl pops off because of the sketches. I've never understood how fashion designers can sketch so good and then turn it into something. Like fashion is one of the coolest things where you, you can dream it up and then you can wear it. That is just so cute. Those little like bell sleeves, like mm, whose bed sheets look like that? Not mine. It's not a bed sheet unless it's just one color. It looks really faded and it's got a few stains on it. This is crazy. This is the kind of dress that it has like a switch where you hit it and then there's lights on the inside. This person made this dress in two months, which is crazy. It totally seems worth it. What a crazy dress to wear to Comic-Con. Insane. I feel like we're straying from prom dresses here. So let's get back into it right after this one. This is a cool gothic material that I can make like an edgy design out of. The red and the black. Ooh. I've never heard of somebody wearing like red and black to their prom. At least in my year, like everybody went really, really, really girly. It would have been cool to like go edgy like this. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Cool hands, bro. You got the rings, you got the gold nail polish. Show me the, oh, whoa, okay. That's like more of a masquerade dress than a prom dress, but I like that dress because you can wear like platform shoes with it, just like more comfortable shoes than like your typical stiletto. This girl right here is a little cutie. She's got the Sesame Street blanket and she just went ahead and made like a cute, edgy, alternative dress with the Cookie Monster and Big Bird on it. This is a very like elegant and like high fashion design. And it's so funny that it just like randomly has Big Bird and Elmo and Bert and Ernie on it. I feel like this only really looks cool because of her tattoos and her haircut. Like she's got like the whole aesthetic going. Whereas if I wore this, I'd look like an idiot. Okay, so this is some prom thrift dressmaking. What? Taking inspiration from like Christian Dior and stuff. Okay, so make sure it's extra long, oversized, has a layer of sheer fabric. A lot of cheap thrift dresses have that. And you hem the skirt, mm-hmm. Especially for me, cause I'm a little shorter. Make the corset, you have to. I can't imagine not wearing a corset. Like as much as I like like the beautiful like flowy gowns, like a corset is just so me. Like when I get married, I'm definitely gonna be wearing a corset. Not for the no one wants a waist more than nine inches, just for like the shape in itself. This girl, hey Alexandria, is like really giving you the whole tutorial. There it is. Oh, she looks expensive. She's having the day of her life. That's so cute how she took inspiration from this. I like when fashion makes you feel something Thing, and when you have the talent to recreate it, which I don't, but it's very charming to watch. What is this, a star dress? This official Hambly person pops off. Making it from scratch once again. Holy crap, that is cute. You always forget like where things come from. You always forget like all the work that goes into making a nice garment. I feel like a lot of us are like kind of used to fast fashion and like paying a low price for things. Like when someone put like 50 hours of work into something and they want to charge for it, we go like, oh, but that's so expensive. This kind of thing I just feel like makes you appreciate it a little bit more. That's crazy. This is the final reveal, thank goodness. Imagine like we had to watch like the first 12 parts, not me. I made an impulsive hair color change. I'm wearing makeup for the first time in two months and I've got heels on for the first time in a year. You'll get used to it, girl. Those look really comfy. I could run in those and I am not a heel person. This is such like a modest, cute, traditional, like I, <gasps> I love the juxtaposition between this very modest, beautiful, intricate dress with like this edgy hair. That's very cool. I like looking at this kind of inspiration because maybe I won't look like an absolute hoe for my wedding. Who knows? Mm, I still think I'll be a hoe actually. Okay, so this girl is making some like old school Victorian. Wow. I guess that's how it like stands out so perfectly. I like how you can like squish it down and how it's so malleable. How charming. Wow, I 
didn't know you could sit on those so well. Wait, why don't we still wear these? You can put it right over the stool. Is this how people took pictures back in the day? Oh my goodness, girl, you look like you're levitating. Oh, sitting on the ground is so cute. A little marshmallow puff. I like that a lot. Okay, so there's the before and there's the after. I'd like to see more, please. I mean, that dress got some good movement to it, but I think it's because she's standing over this sewer grate. <laughs> It's cute though. I'll look in my Regency area wardrobe, starting when I've woken up. Okay. What I'd wear while getting ready to get all your sons to court me. Oh my goodness, girl. What I'd wear when being introduced to a certain Bridgerton. Ooh, and when he comes to call on me the next day. Oh. <gasps> What I might wear when he impulsively kisses me in the garden. Oh my goodness, girl, you are so into this. What I'll wear when he invites me to his friend's studio so I may watch him draw. This girl can eat all the tea and strumpets that she wants. You ever thought about wearing an 18th century gown to prom, hmm? You probably shouldn't. I like it, but you might get made fun of. A floral dress made from leftover materials. Get it, girl? It's a weird floral pattern. I'm not sure if she's gonna be able to make it into something that I like, but we'll see. Oh. Cute, very casual, but cute. This is a dress to match her Barbie. Oh, she wants her Barbie's dress. That is so cute. Gunner Detheraj, you naughty, naughty thing. Look at what you've made. She wants to be a fashion designer when she grows up. That is so cute. I want to see how exact it is. Show it to me. That looks so expensive. <gasps> it's perfect. So this is a Barbie prom dress. Please, why are there so many layers? Oh, that's why. That is just so cute. I can picture it now. I don't want to look at the top because I want you guys to go to her TikTok, Crescent Shea, and look at the finished product. That's just insane. Well, guys, those were some of my favorite DIY prom dresses and DIY fashion in general, as well as just some cute dresses. I love dresses, okay? I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.